morning. I'm so happy that each and every one of you could join us today for home. I don't know what home means for each of you or what each of you are looking for out of this event. But I know for me personally, the message that Paul will be delivering today is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I think that sometimes as women, especially young women in today's society, there are so many messages, so many stem lives just bombarding us each and every day. We are told essentially what we're supposed to chase after, what we're supposed to expect, what we're supposed to want out of life. And sometimes if we're not careful, we get caught up in chasing after any and everything beyond Christ. And so for me, the phrase whole is synonymous with the word worth and with alignment. What do you find your worth and your value in? Where do you find your alignment? If the things that we're chasing after, jobs, money, relationships, if they're not Christ-centered, at the end of the day, we're going to feel empty still. So I just want each and every one of you, as you go throughout the conference, to just keep in mind that the focus and the goal is to have Christ at the center of each and everything that you do today, tomorrow, the rest of the year, the rest of your life. Because once Christ is the center of everything, that's where you will find your home. Do you find your worth and your value in? Where do you find your alignment? If the things that we're chasing after, jobs, money, relationships, if they're not Christ-centered, at the end of the day, we're going to feel empty still. So I just want each and every one of you, as you go throughout the conference, to just keep in mind that the focus and the goal is to have Christ at the center of each and everything that you do today, tomorrow, the rest of the year, the rest of your life. Because once Christ is the center of everything, that's where you will find your home. In order for something to be made whole, I really think that it means that it was broken in the first place. Us as women, a lot of times, uh, we just allow disappointments and shattered expectations kind of shape who we are and we allow depression and loneliness and anxiety and worry to be our portion instead of letting Christ be our portion and I think it's the moment that you realize that no relationship, no job, no nothing is going to fill the void and make you whole except for your relationship with Christ. He's able to come in and shatter every disappointment, every expectation that kind of broke pieces of you and he's allowed to, allowed to make all of those be laid to rest and I think it's the moment that we just realize that we've got to set our focus on him in order to be restored in, in, in order to let him take every broken piece and allow us to be whole. Women Made Whole is a ministry based upon the scripture Mark 5 34. Um, it says, Daughter, your faith has made you whole. A little background about the story is there was a woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years. She tried every position, she tried everything she could think of, but nothing worked. It wasn't until she touched the hand of Jesus' garment that she had an encounter with Jesus Christ, which then she was declared whole by Christ himself. And if you continue to read, you'll see that he didn't say, do this and then you'll be whole. He didn't tell the woman, do that and then you'll be whole. She was declared whole the moment that she touched his garment, the moment that she had her faith and trust completely in him. Um, and that's the goal and the mission and the passion behind our ministry. We want to see other women whole and restored. Um, we want to tell women that there's nothing that can heal you or complete you except of Jesus Christ himself. And once we respond to that call, it is only our duty and obligation to tell other women how they can become whole. And that is the mission of our ministry. My name is Akeisha. Hi, my name is Rose. Hi, my name is Courtney. And we are made whole.